Now, though, it is time for our inspirational story segment. This month, L'Oreal celebrates the 10th anniversary of Face Your Future, an innovative social impact program in partnership with Fostering Kids NZ. Young people aged between 16 and 18 have graduated through the program with newfound skills, practical experiences, and encouraged to follow their dreams. And joining us today to tell us more about this inspiring program is Ashley Green and Tanya Abbott. Welcome to you both. It is really lovely to have you here. I'm going to start with That's you, Tanya. Um, let's, uh, what does the program actually offer young people? Thanks, Mel. Um, well, the Face of Future program, um, you know, is a um, potpourri of, of um, ideas and concepts, but ultimately, um, you know, there's practical skills and tools that we give for young people. Everything from just finding out what it is they actually want to do, um, right down to learning how to shake a hand and give good eye contact. But I think the bigger message there is just that self-belief and that confidence and, um, and actually unleashing, unleashing the power of their own beauty and um, that's where we just see these young people just um, you know just they just lift for want of a better word blossom um, how do you choose the kids that go through the program? So that's where our partner comes in. So Fostering Kids New Zealand is a, has been our partner for 10 years. And so we have now 500 young people who have been through this program. Uh, so they help us uh, around the country, nationwide, um, invite these young people through the program. Wow. Now, Ashley, you are a graduate of Face Your Future program. So what did you really love about it? Um, I'd like, for me personally, was definitely the, in, like, the inspirational speakers that came in. Um, there was um, Ron, uh, Ron Mark, he came in and he, one thing that I really took away was that um, every day you have a piece of paper and your day fills up the piece of paper and at the end of the day you can reflect on this piece of paper of how your day has been and either you can think of it as a positive or a negative and if it is a negative you could work on getting it to be a positive and if it is a positive you can take it away to the next day to grow and then you've got a new shape for the next day to start all over again, which for me was massive. So every day you start with that, uh, well, with uh, maybe a few things on your list, but you start with a blank piece of paper, paper. again yeah. that you can build up. Yeah. That's actually a really good thing to think about, I think, yeah. for, for everybody. Um, what do you think is the most important thing that the program has given to you? Uh, definitely the confidence. Um, when I first got to L'Oreal um, Face Your Future, I was like, I was quite, quite held back. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I wasn't quite sure on you know, where I wanted to go. And Face Your Future really pushed me to have the confidence to go out and, you know, do what I want to do. Mm. Yeah. It is difficult sometimes to know exactly what you want to do, isn't it? Yes. And you need yeah. that sort of guidance just to help you in the right direction or to give you those skills that you, that you need. Um, and you're actually studying hairdressing now. Has L'Oreal supported you with this? I am, yes. Um, so Haito and L'Oreal have teamed up together to um, do a sponsorship for, um, is it 10? 10 different... Um, children in care to um, go further in either hairdressing, barbering or um, beauty therapy and so I got a apprenticeship doing hairdressing. Do you, so think, do you think it's been a life changer for you doing definitely, this course? Definitely, like, it, like I said it's given me the confidence to go out and do it. Mm, yeah. Rather than just sitting around talking about it, you can about actually it. go and do it. do it. And that's really important. Um, Tanya, why do you think it's so important for businesses like L'Oreal to support these types of initiatives? Um, well, Mel, you know, there is no one government or one business or one, you know, sector of our community that can take on the great challenges we have in this world. So um, we felt empowered, you know, a decade ago to um, to do some good, but to make it meaningful. And it's not something we've actually publicised before. We've just been quietly working away at this. But, you know, to see the 500 young people who've come through Face Your Future now blossom in careers and, you know, the pathways into, obviously, our industry is very natural for us, but also we provide pathways into other industries for these young people. Some of the boys are, um, you know, not quite so keen to take on some of the things in our industry. So it's for boys but, and uh, for girls? Uh, boys and girls, yeah. absolutely, for sure. So if someone is at home interested in the Face Your Future programme, where can they get more information about it, what do they need to do? Absolutely. So um, our message, I guess, is for caregivers or for grandparents raising grandchildren who have young, um, you know, young adults in their care uh, to get in touch with Fostering Kids New Zealand or, or L'Oreal New Zealand or our website. And find out all they need to know. Well, it sounds fantastic. Thanks very much, guys, and all the best, Ashley. Thank you.